Hey everyone, Know the Art here with your first voiceover video. We have today the hashtag 6 fan arts challenge. You can see that it is in a traditional art setting instead of a digital, and that is due to the fact that my power supply on my tablet died and I was waiting to get a new one so I did it this way instead. I also kind of wanted to be a little bit different than what everybody else was doing with their piece. So thank you for uh, all of the suggestions everyone gave me. Uh, it was really hard to choose which six and I think I chose some really good ones. Uh, here we have Todoroki from My Hero Academia. I've got Luna Lovegood from Harry Potter, Sabrina Spellman from The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, Nezuko from Demon Slayer, and Kakashi from Naruto, and Usagi from Sailor Moon. So to start the process, I drew out each piece individually, and as you can see here, I started outlining um, each one individually. The pens I used, um, I used a Sharpie fine point pen for most of the pieces. Some of the smaller details, I did a what is called a high-tech 05 pen. I got it in Japan. I guess it's Pilot, as I'm looking at it right now. Uh, it was really nice to have. I also used Sakura uh, Pigma Sensei pens that I've had since, like, high school, I guess. I found them recently when I was moving, um, and I used the 0.6 millimeter and the one millimeter pen as well. Uh, I will get into what the colors I used as well, but as you can see I was outlining each piece. Um, there are a few mistakes. You'll see my hands kind of raise up in frustration, but that's okay. Everyone makes mistakes. Uh, but it, overall I thought the piece turned out really well. Um, I really enjoyed drawing all of these characters. I would say Todoroki and Kakashi are probably my first few male characters that I've ever drawn, so I had to look at reference photos for those, um, just because I don't normally draw men in my pictures, so they might not totally be in my style, uh, since I did have to look at a reference. Um, to talk about some of the characters as we're moving along, Todoroki, probably my number one waifu in My Hero Academia. Um, that show is really good if you haven't started watching it yet. Uh, Luna Lovegood is probably my favorite character out of the whole Harry Potter series besides Albus Dumbledore. I think her weirdness aspect that she gets a lot is um, very comforting to have. She's kind of the outcast, but she can also make friends fairly easily that we see here, especially in the books and the movies that we see. Uh, Sabrina Spellman, I watched the animated series and the original one, um, but this one I love so much. It's creepy, it's cool, I love the like total paganism, um, witchy aspect behind it, I love the lore. And everything behind it as well. I haven't watched the newest season yet, so no spoilers there. Uh, Demon Slayer is probably the best anime besides a race that I have seen so far. I love the story, I love the characters, uh, the art is just gorgeous. I love the setting of it um, in like, I believe it's the Edo period of Japan. It's like my favorite period of Japan. And then, like, the villain for it is just phenomenal. So absolutely terrifying. Um, Naruto, probably the first, um, and one of the first animes for most people to watch. Uh, Kakashi not being my number one waifu. Uh, Minuto is definitely my number one waifu. But I will say, spoiler alert, when Kakashi had his quote-unquote death in Naruto, um... I cried. I cried hardcore. Uh, <laughs> it was the first, I would say, anime death I had ever cried at. I did have to stop watching because I was, I was so done. <laughs> like, I couldn't take any more deaths. And then, of course, Sailor Moon being the first um, kind of magical girl show that really became popular, especially if you're in the U.S. Uh, Toonami had, like, Dragon Ball Z. Uh, 
Yu Yu Hakusho, Inuyasha, and then Sailor Moon, of course, was the thing that you watched after school. As we moved on from outlining in pen, I started to erase a lot of the lines that weren't covered by the pen. Uh, to help with uh, not smudging the piece, I used a soft bristle brush um, to really help wipe away the erased bits. Um, as you can see, I didn't want to show the whole video of me erasing everything. I'm sure that wouldn't be very exciting to look at. But as you can see, I'm just finishing up uh, erasing everything. And then I took my one millimeter pen and I started to outline just the outsides of each person. I think it gives more of a, a pop to it, um, kind of changing up that line weight. Now, not everybody does this. You don't have to do it this way. This is just kind of my style of doing it to get everything to pop. And then I came in with the 0.6 millimeter pen to add some of those line weights in there as well. Um, to get back at the, the characters, since I kind of went through them by fast, Sailor Moon was probably one of the best animes to start off with, I would say. Um, Naruto is pretty close second. Uh, if you're looking for more anime to kind of look at, uh, my favorite, as I said before, was Erased. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's mystery, time travel, um, kind of day in the life, splice kind of thing, if you're really into that. Um, to go back to my drawing, uh, so I started coloring it and the markers that I used are called Spectra markers. Um, they're like Copic in kind of the other alcoholic based uh, markers, but these don't have alcohol in them, so they're not smelly. They're a little bit better for you in that way. Um, I got them for free when I was at an art conference. I did one of those like spin the wheel things and I got uh, a free set of these markers. They work really well. They have the fine point and the chiseled edge, um, so they work really well. I would say they blend really well as well. The colors I chose for the background, as you can see, I'm not going to color in the actual like faces and everything because I really didn't want to mess up because <laughs> with traditional pieces you are always worried that you're going to mess up and there's no um, undo button. Uh, in life. So I just did the backgrounds and I did the colors based upon kind of the character in that way. So pink was for Nezuko for her kimono, red, like a deep red for Sabrina, um, just for like the clothes that she wore and like that kind of aesthetic that you'll see in the TV show. I did a light purple for Luna Lovegood. I was going to do blue, but I saved that for Todoroki just because um, red would have been the other color I chose for him, but since I had that on Sabrina, I didn't want um, two reds or two blues. Um, as you can see here, I started to use the blue on Kakashi, and I stopped <laughs> before I went any further and finished on Todoroki. For Kakashi, I used a deep, like, foresty green, kind of to go with the jacket or vest that he wears. And then for Usagi, I used yellow um, for her piece. Uh, just for her hair. Again, I didn't want to use like red or blue since I was already using that in the other pieces as well. You always want to make sure that you're complementing the colors really well with each other. If you've seen my other video on the color wheel, I kind of explain how colors work, um, what the color wheel looks like, what are warm and cool colors, and I, you see in this piece that they're kind of all working together with the warm and cool colors together. There's this nice blend of them, and they're kind of brighter colors, so they make this, them all stand out. As you can see, I'm kind of finishing up some pieces, adding in some of that heavy uh, lines, and then here's the finished piece. Um, if you ever want more, just uh, comment down below and like and subscribe as well. See you all next time!